Uh oh, got caught by an RC trap. <laughs> What's up guys today i got purple out here again for some uh, some more uh, m2c uh parts testing uh today i'm running the uh the new front tower uh the rear tower last time did very well uh, if you guys saw the video where she basically just free fell from i don't know how how far up in the sky and i landed right on the uh tower on the rear end and she remained straight a uh, super beefy these towers uh run uh you know close to 100 grams but they are uh, uh super tough uh for sure so i got the front one on it and then also I'm testing out, I got a, I got the new uh, shock standoff uh, kit that, that Mitch offers. He has those for the Technos, uh, and he just uh, made these for the Armas. You know, um, I kept busting a lot of those uh, 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 three millimeter uh, screws, shock cap screws that are stock. Uh, and it was kind of plaguing me, so I'm uh, pretty anxious to try these out. Uh, it does run a four mil bolt through here. Uh, here's the actual kit. It's uh, part number M2C 3080. And it does come with the drill bit to drill out for your uh, your four mil bolt, and then it um it's got the uh, nice uh, standoffs too uh, with a four mil uh, lock nut. So it looks uh looks good, and uh, hopefully they're going to hold up. So we'll uh, see what's up. Luckily, guys, there's some pretty loamy dirt out here for a landing pad. Oh! <laughs> Purple's a maniac. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Some pretty slippery stuff down there. It's like a dried up pond. Uh oh, got caught by an RC trap. <laughs> you gotta love it. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy terrain right here, man. It looks like another planet. <laughs> Super slick.
Ah, looks like I got a tire coming unglued. <laughs> have to go see if I got a spare. Right, I didn't have another bag land with me, so I just threw on the uh, Copperhead 2s. So uh, let's see how she does. I got to get out of here in a second, so I'm just going to do a few more ramp hits. And... <laughs> oh man, that was close. Ramp shaver. <laughs> Hey guys, I got a blind launch on this ramp because it's, it's so tall. All right, guys, that's LVC. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you more of a detailed shot of this uh, of these uh, new standoffs, M2C standoffs. Uh, it does come with the drill bit uh, to uh, drill out your tower. Uh, it does come with the M4 screws, uh, and and these uh, actual standoffs are just are beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see these. Um, I mean, the quality is there, and uh, these just look super tough. Uh, then it does come with the uh, M4. Uh, uh, lock nut too. All right, guys, so. got to tell you, uh, I'm gonna try a full speed run onto this uh, super sender ramp. Just to see how it does. I have no idea how it's gonna perform. So uh, these these guitars are on their last leg. I've had to re-glue them several times. They're starting to rip and crack and all that kind of stuff, and they're really worn down. So I got a brand new set at the house, but I'm just trying to just blow these tires off the rest of the way before I replace them. So uh, all right, let's see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good jump. Man, that was a hard hit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I said that was a hard landing. Pulled the pillow ball out. <laughs> God. That's insane. That arm must have flexed enough. The RPM arm. Oh well. <laughs> this thing is taking some major flights.